Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about some news that leaked about NBA 2K20. I know man, um, the game is literally more than six months away and we already have something that has hit the presses. Now, this wasn't supposed to happen. Um, what I'll do is I'll cut over to the information in a moment, but I just want to give you guys my quick thoughts. This was not supposed to happen. We know NBA 2K to be one of the most closed lip anything as far as like information that hits uh, any news outlets or anything is always controlled by 2K. But the way that social media is now taking over, everybody wants to be first. Everybody wants the acknowledgement to do something with their brands and everything like that. And Renee Montgomery plays for the Atlanta Dream, a WNBA player. And she literally posted on social media, her getting scanned for 2K. If you guys seen any of the scanning booths from last year with Cash Nasty, Jesser, LSK, you know, the whole 2K squad, these are the same exact booths that they were using for those scanning rigs. Now, another thing that you guys might know is that when on social media, everything is unpredictable. Now, I'm not sure if Renee was actually, you know, endorsed or told by 2k like hey let that one fly but most of the time 2k does control the narrative for all their news so it's very very crazy that they're doing this now so let's go ahead and hop over into what i want to show you guys which is the screenshot of her getting scanned as well as give you guys a little bit more thoughts on what this can actually bring to 2k looking forward Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. All right, guys, so the news broke on Twitter from Renee Montgomery's official verified Twitter account on February 18th. Basically, she uploaded an image of her getting scanned into the game. I believe that the image was deleted by her later that night, but basically she said that she was surfing on her surfboard and I'll pop up the image on screen in a moment. But after that, a lot of her core fans hit her up and was like, hey, the WNBA is in NBA 2K. I thought it was only NBA Live. Now, in recent years, NBA Live introduced female gamers and female uh, characters into their game. And for NBA Live 18, they announced that you can actually play into Head Up, Play Now with female characters. And then on NBA Live 19, they allowed the female characters to then come to their online live run and court um, battles and, you know, live events and live strikes and things of that nature. But they were never given a my career type of feel or the one for females to play in that my career type setup and they also never opened up a franchise where you can use females for that as well but when the fan asked about you know was this nba 2k or nba live she basically said i'm going to be in the upcoming game now this can open up a lot of can of worms and the reason for this is nba 2k recently bought out nba playgrounds and then implemented all of the new mb and old nba characters that they couldn't get from licensing for the male characters now my thing is does nba 2k say hey why don't we make a WNBA 2k or should we implement females in the regular NBA 2K. Now, honestly, coming from my standpoint, I believe that the WNBA should be implemented into NBA 2K20. And the reason for that is, of course, you will have more sales. Of course, you will have more, you know, people to purchase the game and more females will be comfortable with scanning themselves into the game, making female characters coming to the park, doing my career, doing franchise, doing play now, doing pro-am most likely, doing rec most likely. But the biggest thing that I believe is if they create a WNBA 2K, it might tank. I honestly, I feel like it might tank because I feel like you're literally pulling 
your fan base away from one another if you decide to go the route of making a WNBA 2K20. I believe that they should just let the females sit in the NBA 2K20 space, put them inside the game, and let that work out to build that core fan base for that game. Now, another thing. If they do bring the WNBA in, which this isn't official official, but it's official. This this was a big leak that should have not been leaked, but let's talk about it for a moment. If you do bring in the females, right, and you say, okay, we're going to bring you to the park, are you going to let them play up against the male characters as well as Will it be an even playing field? Which means, will you allow the females to get park dunks and things of that nature? Or will they all just be doing layups and stuff like that? I feel like if you're going to bring them to a wacky world as in the park, they should have certain stat boosts that allow them to do a lot of the things that the male characters do. Now, as far as rec and pro-am and all of that goes that is a setting that is very 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 realistic now of course we know we play rec we play pro and we're 2k people and when we are playing we're playing high and behind screens cutting back door for alley-oops or for slashers and most of the time pure post scores might be getting some post game but most of the time this is a shooting game so i'm telling you right now if a chick is shooting my eyes out i have no problem with that but I don't want to see a 6'5 female character jumping out the gym, catching an alley-oop, and I'm getting posterized by her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not going to feel right with that. That ain't going to sit well with me. But if she greening like she's Steph Curry, I ain't got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the rec or the pro-am setting. Now, like I said, the part, she could do whatever. If I get posted by a girl, I'm posting it. Wow, that's double entendre. If I get posted by a girl. Never mind. But... Let me show you guys the image again, man. This is her getting scanned into the game. Like I told you guys, her tweet was something like, I'm surfing on my surfboard. Can't wait to be in the next game next year or whatever the case may be. Now, uh, one last thing before I get up out of here is I want to know what you guys think. Let me know the top three reasons why you think NBA 2K20 should implement the WNBA. And I want to know your top three reasons why you believe that the WNBA should make its own game with 2K. Now, the reason for this is I want to weigh options. I want to see what you guys think. All right, guys. So that's all that I have for today. What I actually wanted to um, say before I get up out of here is something very near and dear because this is something that will impact 2K for the next three to five years. For all of the females, like in real life, like ga girl gamers that are trying out for the 2K League, I want to know what's in the works for them down the line now that the WNBA is now a thing in 2K. And the reason that I say that is, I know a lot of girl gamers, I know a lot of some of the best that I've played with and against or, you know, hosted at events for them. And honestly, they're very, very good. Like really, really good at the game. And I wanna know if they're gonna be fused with the males for the first like 2K league for 2K19, I wanna know how 2K20 goes. I wanna know how 2K21 goes. I wanna know how 2K22 goes. And the reason for this is, Will they then say, we're going to separate it. We're going to have two 2K leagues, the WNBA 2K League and the NBA 2K League. Will they then give more girl gamers the chance to make a, a, a living off of playing video games competitively for 2K? That's what I want to know because there are a lot of people out there, especially males, that get wound up about not making the 2K League, putting their all in the 2K League. And there was a lot of females out there feeling the same way. So with that being said, now that I'm seeing females infused in that number of gamers that are getting a chance to get on the 2K stage, will that then say, okay, if we're going to have 200 males, we're going to have 200 females. That's 400 people. That's more opportunities. That's more money. That's more cash flow. That's something huge to think about. What do you guys think in the comment section? Do you think that 2K will go down that route and say, 
why not make a WNBA 2K League? I mean, I will watch it if they lit. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.